Hello everyone, this is Direwolf20, and welcome to episode 22 of Direwolf20's Not Too Complicated Let's Play series. Uh, today, I want to uh, go ahead and start playing with P2P Tunnels. So I want to remind you guys what P2P Tunnels are, uh, and then start using them, because the next thing I want to do is add on to my network here uh, a really far away storage drawer controller that connects to all my resources over here and uh, running along the line of dense cables does not sound like a fun time to me. So with that said, let's break this line that we have set up and establish it as a P2P tunnel line. Um, not that it's a big deal to do, uh, but I just wanna do it and then show you guys how it works. So reminder, P2P tunnels can be used um, to connect distant endpoints over one channel. Um, so if you want to, for example, have a connection here and then run a long line of basic cables. And there's, by the way, a lot of P2P tunnel types. There's, there's stuff for redstone and items and fluids and for FE energy and light. So, you know, keep that in mind. Uh, but then we want to have another, an output over here-ish, but not really. So what I'm going to do probably is break you, and then I'll run my cables like so. Actually, I could probably run my cables all the way to like this, and then throw the tunnel on here, and then have the dense cable like that, okay? Now to get these guys working, you need a memory card, and basically bind one end of the connection new device configuration created by shift clicking and then just regular click to kind of paste it and it loads the device configuration and uh here we're going to want an anchor real quick so let's get that reconnected uh we're going to pop you here so that you're not actually connecting to anything and that should work in theory device offline oh that's right it also needs power uh, which we can accomplish with some quartz fibers. Remember, quartz fibers can ferry... Um, I can make more of that, right? Yes, excellent. Can ferry energy, but not data. Um, so basically, if we do this and this, and we're probably going to want an anchor point here. That should have energy now in the net, in that channel. So what we should have is 32 nice channels in use. So see how it's connecting from here? It basically runs a tunnel. So each tunnel uses one channel. And now we've managed to save ourselves a bunch of dense energy cabling. I'm going to do the same for over here. And you can have multiple outputs for one input. So it doesn't make sense to do it here because we're using all 32 channels. But uh, if I was to do the same thing here, um, you know, I'll, I'll show you once I run this cabling. I can just kind of, you know, and we'll want uh, another anchor. And then we'll want another. And technically, we only need one quartz cable here, but eh, it's still kind of fun to have two. Cool. So now you've got channels in use one because of this guy. We're going to want to hit up this memory card. Hey, yoinks, copy a new configuration. Um, we're going to run this dude all the way. And you probably don't need to exist no more, is right? I could see that being a truth statement. Now over here, I want a storage bus, okay, and what I'll probably have is this guy. Just imagine how expensive it would be to run this many dense cables this way, right? 
cool. And then we load the configuration over here. He's linked as an output side to the same device that's over there. And now we have one channel in use. And if we look here, we should see uh, a ton of withering souls, for example, uh, and nether star fragments and nether stars and inferior essence and coal and chronic, like all these things we've now got access to on account of the fact that we've hooked this up. And look how many emeralds I've got. Holy cow, that's a lot of emeralds and a lot of insane EMS essence for that matter. So how great is that? Eh? I think that's cool. So just a reminder, P2P tunnels will save you on very long uh, runs of cabling, right? If this was all dense all the way over there, that would be terrible. Um, and now we can have multiple connection points, right? So if we wanted to, for example, um, hook up over here uh, and, and connect into something, we could just throw another P2P tunnel output and link it to the input over there, and he'd be able to connect as well. So P2P tunnels, know them, love them, and use them. That's my recommendation to you. All right, so next thing I want to set up, which should be an important, like, kind of to-do, um, let's get a matter condenser with a 64K storage component set to make singularities. So 256,000 per singularity, right? So we're going to need a healthy amount of those. So what I'm thinking is, let's start with... Hello, friends. How much health y'all got? Where is he? Where is he? He's gonna start making noise any second, I can tell. Got him. Got him. So what I'm thinking is we use these guys. We can target cobble and throw some emeralds in there. And then set this dude. So he's extracting 32 items every five ticks. It's not great. It's not bananas level speed. What other item transfer mechanics exist in this pack? There's integrated dynamics. Um, there's mechanism, which we haven't gotten to yet, but I suspect we're probably pretty close to being able to get into mechanism item transfer. That might be cool. Uh, mechanism is probably going to be your best route. What do we got? So we've got, yeah, we've got your mechanism pipes, right? Logistical item transporters, right? These guys. Um, maybe eventually. But I think for now, what we've got going on here should be good. So give me, give me some more emeralds. Look how many emeralds I have. It's bananas. I'm just going to throw a stack in here, right? And then you will have all the emeralds in the world will convert into cobblestone. And then this guy should pretty quickly get that going. Now, if we're in a rush... I should be able to do something like that. And now we're cooking. Look at it go. I think that works, yes. Seems like it. <laughs> you can totally take the celery these pipes, it's great. So, hey, that's a nice way to set up uh, these things. Now the reason I'm making these is I wanna look at this mod over here. This mod is Lazier AE2, which, just speaks to me. <laughs> it's 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 for lazy people. That's me. <laughs> I I feel I feel seen. Um, so lazier A2. I don't know anything about it. I've never played with it. This is my first foray into this mod. Um, but a majority of it is you need some carbonic flux. It looks like, uh, and then you can get some fluix plated iron ingots, which is carbonic fluix dust sky stone dust and iron ingots and an inscriber and eventually you can get a circuit etcher to do the same um and then you also need a universal press which is all the presses with a singularity in it hence the reason we're doing the singularity craft right now and then we can eventually get uh some other kinds of circuits um now the speculative circuit needs a 64x speculation core which is, you know, a little bit of a crafting line, but doesn't look too bad. Needs some matter balls. Interesting. Okay, cool. Needs some matter balls. But what we'll eventually get is the Fluix Aggregator, uh, which can make a bunch of cool stuff, right? Um, we can get the Pulse Centrifuge, 
which is actually pretty interesting. It directly turns Surtis into pure Surtis. That's kind of cool. So do it for the other two? It does. It does. It instantly doubles them. So like, forget the whole turning it into a crystal and growing it process. It's just like, hey, let's go. Uh, the Crystal Energizer, which directly does Surtis Quartz into charged Surtis Quartz. Super cool, right? No more of those lightning charges that we're doing. Uh, and then the Circuit Etcher basically is an inscriber that hopefully is a little bit better in terms of its sidedness. Because as we know, the sidedness... Ooh, and you know what's actually really nice about this? I don't know if you guys are noticing, but look at the inputs. You put in just gold and silicon and redstone and it makes a logic processor. So like, that is cool. I did not notice that until just this moment and I am now very excited by this. So as opposed to making the printed logic circuit, you can now just straight up boom, right? That, I want that. I want that. I, I, I would like to have that, please. Uh, now we're gonna need that 64x speculation core, but I mean, I would like I would like to go to there. So let's let's take our singularity that we've just made and use it to make one of these guys. Uh, so let's make us our to-do list. So first off, uh, get me some of that carbonic. I think I added that to the to-do list over here. So give me like 60-ish of them. And it should be crafting. It's making uh, some flux dust for me. Nice. All right, cool. So yay, auto crafting. Look at it go. Aha, it's cool. And then um, I'm gonna I'm gonna, gonna just like you know knock this out by hand a little bit ish. Available, available. Carbonic flux dust scheduled. I might have put the thing wrong somewhere. Let's see. Cancel you. Yeah, you were in this mode. All right, I'm gonna have to remember that unlike refined storage, which I'm used to, uh, it doesn't <clears throat> flip modes automatically. So that's gonna be that's gonna be a thing that we want to pay attention to for sure. But there's quest complete on that. So we can make fluix steel ingots, and we can make fluix plated iron ingots. Now these have to go in the inscriber, so we're gonna want to keep that in mind. But it's that that, and then we have skystone. We did something, something with Skystone, right? Um, is it over here still? I know I made it over here. Yeah, we have some. So I've not done any mathing in terms of like how much I need. Uh, but to get Skystone dust, we're going to need the Crusher from Mechanism or the Pulse Centrifuge from Laser A2 or the Quartz Grindstone. Really, I have to manually grindstone this stuff? Killing me, Smalls. I guess we'll be back in a minute after I do this. Let me tell you, I don't want to do this anymore. So we're going to prioritize which machines to get so we can automate this. Though in fairness, I suspect that once I have the four machines, I will probably not need most of those resources anymore. But I'll take a look to see if they are added for any other things in the pack. So if we look, uh, the printed parallel circuit will only be used for the parallel processor uh, which is only used for the pulse centrifuge and the speculation core. And then this guy is only used to make speculative processors, which are only used for circuit etchers and pulse centrifuges. So that's it. So once we make these resources, we don't need them anymore, if I'm reading this correctly. Um, now this guy, this guy, all these things are only for lazier AE2 from what I can tell. Um, so I'm going to say there's no real purpose in automating much of this. Um, let's just get these four machines and then we're done with this mod. So let's not automate most of these resources. Let's just, you know, make them by hand as needed. Now, um, the pulse centrifuge requires speculative and parallel processors, um, as does most things here. Um, the only thing that doesn't seem to need what we need to make is this guy, which is good because the pulse centrifuge needs parallel processors, which need resonating gems, which needs the Fluix aggregator. So Fluix aggregator will be our first craft. And then from there, we can make the rest of the stuff. Cool? Okay. So let me get, um, so you can be used with iron and carbonic flux to make Fluix bladed stuff in an inscriber uh, or in a circuit etcher. And then there's a few other things you can do. Uh, so let's get some iron and fluix dust. 
And we're gonna go drop you in an inscriber, yes? I'm gonna put you in... Okay, I see. Yes, no, that makes sense. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. I'm gonna put you in here. Yes, that seems like a good time, right? Mm -hmm. Dude, dude. Iron, carbonic fluix dust, skystone dust. There we go. Okay, that's how it has to be. Got it. There we go. Cool. So in that direction. Back in a minute. So, just smelt the fluix bladed iron into fluix steel is how we do this. So if I want this guy, I'm going to need four steel. So I'm going to get four of these guys. And then we should have our fluix aggregator ready to craft. Sweet! Step one complete. Nice! Uh, now, you did not actually give me my fluid steel, so I should probably make one more of those, just so I have the quest completed. Haha! -ha. And then uh, you next want me to make the etching. There's also a crystal growth chamber, which is not a block, but it's an item, and it's used to make the pulse centrifuge, which, reminder, lets us all in one go that thing. So, that's pretty slick. I like that. Now, in theory, we shouldn't need the other four presses, but we might need them in the interim until I have all the machines done. So why don't I make another set of logic presses um, for this? So the easiest way, I think, would be to just get, you know, a couple blocks of iron and go copy the existing presses that we have, right? So like one, two... Three? Shouldn't that work? And you can probably stop doing whatever you're doing because I'm thinking I don't want you no more, right? Um, and you can probably stop temporarily too. Well, actually, yeah, you can stay, redstone guy. Uh, but there's a copy of all the presses, right? And then for now, I'm just going to stick this junk in here, and that should be cool. So that's all the presses. I believe that to be all the presses. Uh, and I'm going to put my silicon away. And then you can be used to make this, which is cool. Quite, quite cool, quite cool. All right, Fluix Logic Unit. I already made one, but that's okay. Uh, and then the Fluix Aggregator, we're going to need another one. Well, I just did that. I just did it in the opposite order, so that's annoying. Uh, hopefully that Fluix unit thing is used for other stuff. Uh, it is. Good. So I'm going to make another one because I know I need more. So let's get this many. So I can do this. And that'll complete both quests. Beautiful. Nice. All right. So now we need to make a printed parallel circuit, which needs a resonating gem, which can only be made in the Fluix Aggregator. Now, do you need power or network or what? Uh, I don't know. Oh, look at this. Oh, my goodness. Auto extraction deactivated. Activated. Oh, that's cool. IO configuration. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Eight upgrade slots. Oh, I love it. I love everything about it. It's so cool. All right. So Ender Dust, Skystone Dust, and Diamond. Oh, we're going to need more Skystone Dust? All right, let me do this. Let me get Basalt. Do we have Basalt? We have 32 Basalt. Um, now, if I want to turn you into Skystone, it is 250, and that is... So I need 32 of these. Actually, I didn't have to come all the way over here, did I? I did not. And let's also make sure that you're a high priority, by the way. I think I forgot to set this priority. Yeah, we definitely want that, right? Yes, high priority on you as well. But then half a stack in here? I thought I could do that. Am I missing something? Molten Blitz. 
Oh, you can only melt in here? Ha, huh, that's funny. So we can we can in fluid encapsulate it, but it, it can only be melted in here, but that's fine. We'll just do this. So half a stack to you, and then you're gonna go in here and you're off and you're on, and that should be good. Excellent. So I've got more right clicking to do, so we'll be back in a minute. All right, so Fluix aggregator does not connect to a cable. We know that now. That's that's some knowledge that we now have. Uh, so he needs he needs power uh, for that. So that that means what we're probably do we want to add to this line here? Or do we just want to put it down the basement with our other AE stuff? See now I'm trying to think about where things should go logically because I'm trying to at least have some semblance of organizational skills here. Um, and then flux points receives energy from a JSON box. Yeah. I must have more, more flux points in my backpack. Yeah, there's the rest of them. All right, so what we're probably gonna wanna do here then, this whole thing is gonna go away in a minute. So let's put it here for now, and then we'll move it if we deem it necessary. Deal? So then you should be getting power? Yes, beautiful. Okay, that's cool. And then if we wanna flux aggregate into resonating gems, it's gonna be ender dust, skystone dust, and diamonds sounds cool so give me some ander dust which i should probably teach you how to make right so ender dust this ender dust is made from one of these in the pulverizer So if I said, give me 16 of them, that wouldn't be a problem. Just want to make sure. Sweet. All right, now I have not mathed as to how many of these I need, but let's start with four. And then it was diamonds, right? So for that, I think I put some diamonds in here. I did. I did. Don't tell me this is the wrong kind of ender dust. Because we're going to have a problem pretty soon. Yeah, it's and that, that, that mod <laughs> ender dust. Uh, ender dust goes in the top, though, is what you're telling me. Okay, no, so it's the right kind. Okay, cool. And then I'm assuming that I can steal you guys and put you here. Oh, nice. That's cool. All right, good deal. All right. Now, if I wanted to, uh, so that should make, so printed parallel circuits goes in an inscriber. So I'm going to borrow this inscriber for a minute. And what I'm probably going to do, I'm going to hope that I don't need much more of this. We're just gonna hope that none of that is needed no more. Deal? And then what I'm gonna do is, oh, hello. Uh, use this guy a little bit manually. And what I'll do is I'll put this in here and these in here. Cool. Now, the intelligent person would have done this. See, look at me go. Cool. Okay. And then that makes that guy. So now you want a parallel processor, which is silicon and redstone in there. Cool. So I can grab four of these and do this. Perfect. And there's a quest complete on that guy. Cool. And now I can make the circuit etcher which is neat, and the circuit etcher will be able to directly make everything for me, right? That's the next dude. Uh, and the reason we have to do the circuit etcher next is because he does not require... He does require speculation cores. Okay. Okay. 
Uh, can I make the pulse centrifuge first? I think I can. I think I can. I think I can. I want to make this one first. So I don't have to manually do the thing anymore, the skystone dust. So let me do the pulse centrifuge first, if I can. So in order to make a speculative processor, I need to make one of these. So is this available quest-wise? I'm just curious. So before you, you want an you want a speculation core 64. Ah, okay. So you want me to go down this line first. Okay, I can do that. So what we're gonna do is make this thing. I'm probably gonna make it mostly off camera because you guys don't wanna watch me craft a 64X craft, right? Uh, but effectively, let's get one more of you filled up. And then I'm going to switch you to matter balls. Because we need matter balls for this bit. Oh, wow, that was fast. <laughs> Hopefully that's enough. Sweet. All right, and then if I need more matter balls, we know where to come. All right, so um, for the printed speculative circuit... We need to go down this line. So we need one of these diamonds do, 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 all the way down the line. Okay. Uh, but we need the flux aggregator to make speculation core mark ones. So we need two, four, eight, 16, 24, 32 of these. Aha, 64 of these. Got it. That's why it's called an X64. Got it. Dyer figured it out. <laughs> that's why it's called an X64, because you need 64 of the... Okay, and I need 64 Skystone Dust for that. That's painful. Uh, so we're going to be making a stack of Skystone Dust, but then I have my Pulse Centrifuge, and we only need one of those in order to make the Pulse Centrifuge. So let's get a stack of Skystone Dust in the, in the guy over here, uh, which means more Basalt from the end, or from the nether. I think there's a way to make basalt, but I'm just going to pop in the nether. So I'll be back in a minute once I do all of this. Um, so, yeah, be right back. All right. So this should be cool. Nice. That's cool. I like that. We can even tick accelerate it. How great is that? Oh, boy, but we're killing the RF. Oh, boy, but we're killing the RF. That's all right. It'll charge back up in a sec. It's getting there. I bet I could just do that. That'll fill it up nice and quick. <laughs> Speculation cores. All right, cool. So then they all get turned into Mark IIs, which all get turned into... I need silicon. I taught it how to make silicon, by the way. Yay! In theory, it knows how to make silicon. Come on, silicon. Let's go. Or I broke, or I broke all the things. Did I crash the game? Maybe. We'll find out. Shouldn't you be, like, crafting stuff? Scheduled to... Are you not sided correctly? No, you're sided correctly. Cancel. Start. Mm. Is the pattern the wrong kind of pattern or something? Might be. Might be. I don't think so, though. Yeah, no. Certus Quartz goes in, Silicon comes out, right? Isn't that how it goes, Redstone Furnace? Does it have to be Nether Quartz? Really? I thought I could do either. Okay, my bad. My bad. There's your problem. Now you're going to be cool? Now nah, you're going to be cool. Much better. Okay. I should stay up here for all this crafting. So anyway, silicon, boom. Now you've got speculation cores times four. Okay. Then I think we've got enough of these. Uh. Oh, yeah, there's your problem. Uh, we're going to need more of those. All right, cool. Do we have any more? Yeah, we do have more pure sodas. Good. All right, there we go. 32x, and then now we should be good to make 64x, which we can use to make this guy in the universal press. 
which can go in here with some silicon. Are we out of the silicon? No, we have some, it's just in my inventory. Dire, please. Sweet, speculative processor. Cool. And that knocks out all those quests. Now what I wanted to do was make the pulse centrifuge first, right? So we've already done the fluid accelerator. The pulse centrifuge will allow me to make the sky stone dust without manually, and that's awesome. Uh, and then the next thing I'd like to make is the circuit etcher, which will do this stuff. And then finally the charger. So that's gonna be the order uh, that I go in. So pulse centrifuge, circuit etcher, and then uh, pulse centrifuge, circuit etcher, and then finally the energizer, which actually doesn't look too bad from a recipe standpoint. So that's actually pretty cool. That's That's relatively cheap. So to make this, we want a molecular assembler and we want crystal growth accelerators. <laughs> Bye water. <laughs> I forgot that water falls. That's funny. That's funny. Uh, and then a bucket of water, right? And then There's your crystal growth chamber, which is an item. And then we can have the pulse centrifuge just needs four of the Fluix steel ingots. And boom, that's cool. That's cool. I'm actually going to keep you in there because that'll make my life a little bit easier. And now we've got the pulse centrifuge, boom, which means no more manually doing this by hand. Now, what's your beef, stranger? Are you good? You're good. All right. So everybody's done there. So now I can have you make the next stack of skystone dust. And you're also going to need some uh, upgrades real quick. I'm just going to borrow you from here and move them manually. And then we'll do this properly in a bit. Deal? Cool. I like this. I like this a lot, actually. Way better than holding right click. It took a long time. I'm just saying. It took a long time. That's cool. And then I'll take you guys. I'm going to put these eight back in here. And now we want to get the circuit etcher, which is going to need two speculative processors. Count them. Two speculative processors. Do we have any more skystone dust? We are short by four. So give me some basalt times four. And I'm gonna craft these off camera and be right back. FYI, carbonic flux is way cheaper in the flux aggregator. So as you're making this, keep that in mind. Doot, doot, and the other stack of matter balls. Sweet. Hope I hope I mathed this all correctly. I might be short a couple things. We'll see. Okay. One down. Might need more silicon. Yeah, we will. Just give me a bunch of that, would you? That would be nice. All right, I think we've done it, mostly. Yeah, I need another one of these guys. So that's diamond, ender dust, and sky stone dust. I can do that. That should be cool. There we go. And then you in here with this guy. And then in here with this guy. And then another one of these. Sweet. Okay. And then if I remember correctly, you need to go in here with this guy. 
And then you guys. And then finally, we can make our etcher, which is awesome looking. So give me back that universal press. And then the etcher will also need some inscribers, which we theoretically don't need any more of ever, if I'm right. And then uh, I just need uh, one of these guys. We're gonna need some more Fluix steel. In total, we're gonna need six Fluix steel, which is going to be, yeah, be right back. All right, I think we got it. I think we're ready. So you two go here. Pulse centrifuge is done. Circuit etcher, huzzah. How great is this? Nice. Now I would definitely like more acceleration cards if I may. So hey, for that, we're going to need calculation processors, right? So it's just pure Certus, silicon, and redstone, right? So if I got my pure Certus, I have some in my inventory, silicon, and redstone. Let's do half-ish a stack of these. So 32, 32, and 32. I like that a lot. I like that a lot, a lot. That is super cool. How great is that? That's a great machine. I love it. That definitely simplifies the crafting processes here, right? And then you just need that and then you can have this nice all right now the last thing i want to make here is the crystal energizer um which is going to need quite a bit more carbonic stuff and a charger which we can make easily enough right um but let's get six or eight more fluix steel which is going to be eight more now this can also be done in the circuit etcher carbonic skystone and ironing it so i'll be right back eight more all right Crystal Energizer, the last step of the path here. And I'm probably gonna want, did I not really have that many of those? I thought I had enough for more of these, but that's okay. We can make two more sets, which makes this many. Give me some more Fluix crystals, please. Ah, look at you. See, this is why we're doing this. So we can automate these bad boys. Uh, yeah, it's all right, I'll have enough. Really? There you go. But this is why we're doing this, so we can automate charging. So then you come here, and that is how we can now turn regular Certus Quartz into charged Certus Quartz. Boom. All right. So I'm going to call this wrapping up point. I will come back next episode. We will probably automate a smidge of this stuff. You know what, that probably disconnected power from our entire network. Remember I was using this? Yeah, buddy. Uh, so energy acceptor should go back. You should go back. And now everybody's back online. Haha, <laughs> cool. Yeah, he lost power for a minute. Um, but that's good times. Uh, so we're gonna wrap up here. We'll come back next time. Uh, let me get some stone bricks ready to go. Fill back in this flooring. Uh, so this doesn't need to exist anymore. This doesn't need to exist anymore. This doesn't need to exist anymore. Um, a majority of this doesn't. What I'll probably do... We want everything to be fluidy, right? Yeah. What I'll probably do is move all that stuff that I just placed over to here. And uh, we'll come back next time to play some more. Now we've got a really solid foundation in Applied Energistics. We'll see, but I think for the most part, we have a majority of what we want taken care of, like good here, right? Um, now you guys are gonna wanna be, we're probably gonna want interfaces behind you if I'm being honest. So what I'll probably do, what I'm probably gonna do is relocate this guy. It super doesn't matter where he lives. Uh, but he should live somewhere, 
That's absolutely true. Let's stick them here for now. And if we have to move them again in the future, it doesn't matter. I'd like to move this down a level. So that we could run um, basically interfaces behind these machines. So, um, well, that's interesting. Did I get my cards back? I hope you retained your inventory, Chief. You do, good. Okay, good. Well, that's nice. Cool. So what we can have here then is, um, you know, if you're my security terminal, right, we'll have our Fluix aggregate. I don't think it matters what order I put these machines in. It really doesn't. Uh, I wonder if you can side back, input, output, IO. If I did that, you think it would work like thermal machines? Bet it would. Bet it would. All right, we're going to wrap up. But uh, I'll play with this a little bit between episodes. For now, Dell 20 sign off. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, you know the deal. Take it easy.